Welcome to Love Bite. This was a few years ago. We had been living together for some time, and her 13-year-old daughter also lived with us. She was pregnant with my son, but in the first trimester, there were plenty of red flags along the way. She was pretty conceited and required a lot of validation. In her earlier years, she was a published model, nothing huge, just stuff like FHM and Maxim and assorted local magazines and such. Well, on to how she got caught. I, along with one of my sons from a previous marriage, was meeting for lunch at a local steakhouse. I let her, we can call her Jay for ease here. Well, I told Jay that my son and I would be having lunch and told her she was welcome to join us. She happily agreed, and along with her daughter, we met at the restaurant at the prescribed time. Jay and her teen daughter were both giving me the stink eye as they arrived. I could feel tension in the air. We were seated and ordered drinks. I was trying to make small talk. Jay was seated across the table rather than next to me, and she was glaring at me. Finally, with the urging of her daughter, she asked, Is there something you would like to tell me? I was looking over her and her daughter. Their body language was telling the story. They thought they had some smoking gun and were employing all the dramatics. The problem was that I had nothing to confess, and now I had to pry their suspicions out of them. For some quick background, big red flag, she had on more than one occasion accused me of being unfaithful. It simply wasn't true. I mean, this is one of those women who might have a dream, and you will be punished in the morning if it is bad. Oh, well, anyway, she is repeating her question, and I cut her off. I told her to tell me what her latest accusation was going to be, and I let her know I was pretty tired of this behavior and that she was making our future seem impossible. This shocked her a bit, so she demanded to see my phone. I happily obliged, and she searched it over and over, going through every text and finally opening up my Snapchat app. Then I turned the phone so everyone seated could see I had the app. She seemed triumphant in this and demanded I explain myself. I must have looked bewildered as I sat there, blinking and wondering how this meant anything at all. Jay went on a dissertation about how Snapchat was for cheating, and I had no business having an account. Her daughter, you see, discovered I had the account or so they thought anyway. I am still blinky and have added subtle head shaking to my response. She felt she had me cornered and demanded I explain myself. She was being especially dramatic and drawing attention to our table with her theatrics. I suggested calmly that she peruse my contacts and tell me who I am having the illicit affair with. She obliged me as she deftly navigated Snap like a veteran, ultimately finding no contacts or posts of any kind. As a bit of background, I am a security engineer and many of my clients are educational institutions from K through 12, from community colleges to universities, including some Ivy League and international business schools. I have accounts with pretty much every social networking app there is. It's for work. It often falls to ensure they work, or they are metered or outright blocked on various campuses depending on the age group of the attendees. So yes, I have these apps because it's really convenient to just whip out a tablet or phone to test my work. Now my son knew this, and he burst out laughing at the accusation and the ignorance of her assumption. Before I could say a word to defuse the situation, he jumped in and set her straight. I calmed him down and we both chuckled at it. Jay and her daughter weren't convinced and pressed, only to be silenced as I raised my hand in a gesture for the check. I told her I invited her here for a nice lunch, and she and her daughter have ruined it over their crazy accusations. I was leaving. They ruined the meal and when I got home we could address her concerns privately and calmly. After paying the bill I got up and my son and I began leaving. She got pretty pissed and she followed us out, yelling that we weren't through with the conversation. In the parking lot I demanded she let me go through her phone. She shrieked that I wasn't going to make this about her. I needed to answer her questions. I pointed out that both she and her daughter have the app they are saying is only for cheaters and I want to view them now. They both went white and she repeated I am not going to blame shift. I responded by saying she either let me view her phone or she packed her things, and we were through. She turned on the waterworks and began crying that she was pregnant with my child. How dare I accuse her of anything? Her daughter was screaming while my son just smirked and taunted them both. I instructed my son to make sure they didn't do anything in my house, and I had to go back to work and leave. My son was 17 and a senior in high school. The school year had just ended, so I let him drive one of my cars, 
and he raced them to the house and got there first, according to him, taking the better spot in the garage. My son said they spent the next hour or more locked upstairs in the daughter's room, and when she came out, Jay was trying to act like everything was okay and asked my son what he wanted for dinner. I am sure it will not be a surprise to anyone. But when I got home, Jay apologized for her outburst and promised it was just hormones, that she should never treat me like that, and then handed me her phone and said I was allowed to look it over any time I liked. She trusts me and wants me to trust her. I went to my home office and set the phone on my desk, logged into my PC, and checked my email. She was hovering and asked if I was going to look at it. I said I would in a bit but had to wrap up a couple things, then asked if she needed anything right away. She smiled and said, take your time. As I mentioned, I am a security engineer. As soon as she left, I looked at her phone, which had just been factory reset, and had a couple dozen sub-one-minute calls to assorted friends and some banter text messages from a few of her friends. Shockingly, all of them in the last few hours have indicated that the phone has been used regularly. I installed a Big Brother app on her phone and put it in the same spot on my desk. Maybe 30 minutes later, she came and checked on me. The phone was sitting there seemingly untouched, and she asked if I had gone through it. I told her no, I was still working, but she could take it if she liked. I am just too busy right now to go through it. Well, to just cut to the chase, I monitored her activities closely for the next few weeks, and yes, she was cheating even more so with more than one guy. I confronted her with the evidence, for which she called the police on me for violating her privacy. The police came and she put on quite the show. I showed them that I paid for the phones and the house was in my name only. She was given a warning. I told her she would need to pack up and she tried to use sex to change my mind. I rebuffed her attempts and let her know the very idea was revolting to me. I moved her things into a guest room, let her know she needed to find a new place to live and suggested she ask one of her many boyfriends. A couple of days later, she threatened me with an unloaded revolver, which my neighbor witnessed. The police were again called, and only she was taken away in cuffs. We never did get married, but before my baby son was one year old, I was the custodial parent, and two years later, her parental rights were revoked. She isn't allowed to be anywhere near us. This wasn't cheap. It cost me over $300,000. But while painful, it was well worth it to ensure my son has every opportunity for a good life. The sister has tried to connect a couple of times with no result. There was a lot more drama on her part, to be sure, but these stories have to be kept to a reasonable length. I'll add this one thing, though. Jay never broke my heart because I just couldn't give it to her. I was only going to marry her because of the baby. Yes, this is a bad idea, but I am old-fashioned and wanted my son to grow up in an intact home. Lastly, before anyone asks, the court ordered a paternity test on day one. He is mine.